Stephen Shepard knows exactly where he'll go during the next heat wave. And it's sort of designated as a, a place that it will always be a lot cooler than and out there, which gets more light and more sun. In this corner of his front yard, it's noticeably less warm than out on the street, thanks to the cooling powers of this green canopy. Partly because of shade, partly because of evapotranspiration. You know, they're putting moisture into the air the whole time, and that has a cooling effect as well. Shepard's research with the city of Vancouver shows neighborhoods with a natural green parasol can be up to eight degrees cooler than those without one. The less green the neighborhood, the greater potential danger during extreme heat. You know, the higher density areas, False Creek Flats, uh, those areas have very low canopy levels, sig very vulnerable to heat and to other uh, climate impact like flash flooding. Around 23% of the city of Vancouver is covered by a green canopy. It's more than just a tree. It's enough trees for consistent coverage. The city wants to increase the canopy to 30% by 2050. But with a million people projected to arrive by then, it's a struggle to balance greenification and densification. But experts say it can be done. You see these beautiful deciduous trees in front of a relatively new multifamily building and that multifamily building actually has shading above um, uh, the biggest windows. This garden near Lawnsdale in North Vancouver, an example of high density housing and green space side by side. Boston says it's not just beautiful, but could be life saving. It is those neighborhoods that are don't have the same strength of an urban tree canopy and green space where you do have uh, higher mortality rates. And that's something that we have to turn around. These green behemoths keeping us cool as our cities heat up. Michelle Gassoub, CBC News, Vancouver.